lovely little bunch of people in uh, only do what feels good and um, especially my little kiddies uh, that, that are here uh, an hour is a long time to concentrate so you don't have to stay for the full thing you get up and move and do whatever feels good for you is that okay Eleanor yeah thumbs up for real okay yeah thanks Eleanor so 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 we do whatever feels good and uh Hopefully, my plan is that I leave you by 10 o'clock totally blissed out and just stretched out and ready for a really simple, soulful Saturday. Okay. All right, guys. So we'll start sitting nice and tall. Hi, Emily. Nice straight spine. Drop the shoulders. Lengthen through the heart. And we're going to start with three deep breaths here. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling fully. Inhaling deeply, exhaling fully, and once more, nice long in breath, and deep, full exhale. So really lifting the heart, dropping the shoulders, trying to find that quiet and calm, and surrendering from whatever's going on, whatever you're doing later, and just breathing. With each inhale, I want you to lift the heart, drop the shoulders, and try to sit a little taller as you quieten, relax, and release. And just bringing your awareness to your body, noticing if you're holding any stress, tightness, tension, being aware of how your breath is feeling. And breathing deep, full in-breaths and long, slow exhales. Inhaling peace. Exhaling, releasing. I may be setting your intention for this hour today. My intention is to have a really slow and really simple Saturday. You feel free to pick your own. But focus on really lifting the heart, drawing the belly in, and finding that little bit of quiet and calm. So ignoring anything else going on around you. Focusing on your breath, on your calm, and on your peace. Nothing else matters for this hour, just you moving and breathing and being really present with your body this morning. So when you're ready, we're going to inhale for count of four. We're going to hold for a count of two. We're going to exhale for a count of four. And we're going to hold for a count of two. And we're going to keep that lovely circle of breath going. If it doesn't feel good for anybody, modify and do what works for you. So when you're ready, really lift the heart, drop the shoulders. And we're going to inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two. Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two. Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two. Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two. Four more. Inhaling, two, three, four, hold, two. Exhale, two, three, 
three, four, hold, two, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, last two, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two. And let us release that count in practice. Returning to your regular breathing. And lift that heart, drop the shoulders. And keeping that intention for your slow, simple Saturday. Or whatever your intention for today's class is. As you just focus on that lovely, long, slow, deep breath. And then when you're ready, just taking your hands onto your knees. And we're going to roll around in a nice big circle. So just moving the upper body around and the lower body. And every move today, we just do a little bit slower, a little bit gentler. Like as if we're just waking up the body. So nothing fast, nothing fancy. And then we're going to go the opposite direction. Just moving the upper body around on the lower body. And slow to center. Then we interlace fingers, chin to chest. Stretch and reach forward. So really opening out those upper backs and sit up tall hands into your heart and again stretching and reaching as far forward as you can and sit up tall hands into the heart and once more reach and stretch forward and sitting up really tall taking the hands onto your knees and just let the right ear come towards the right shoulder and then we're going to stretch the, um, the opposite arm away from you. So the ear is coming towards the shoulder and you're creeping the fingers out. So you really lengthen and get a nicer, longer stretch down the side of the neck. Let the head be really heavy here. And as we just creep those fingers further than you think you can. Slow to become the centre. And we drop opposite ear to the opposite shoulder and creep those fingers out. So as you creep the fingers out, I want you to feel a little bit of extra length from the ear right away to the shoulder. And slowly come to centre. Once more to each side. Ear coming towards the shoulder. Just lengthen and stretch out. And come to centre. Opposite side, reaching away. And slowly coming to centre. Let's take those arms to face each other, right arm coming over left. And with your in-breath, reaching high up into your fingers. And as you exhale, let the arms come down. So really working on releasing tension from the back of the shoulders. Inhale, reach a little higher. And slowly and gently release. And once more, stretching high. And gently release. Uncross the arms, take opposite arm over. Same thing, we're going to inhale, reach high up into your fingers. And as you exhale, we let the arms come down. Inhale, stretch and reach really high. And slowly and gently release. And once more, reaching all the way up. And gently release. Uncross the arms, place the hands on the knees and roll out the shoulders. So guys, I just realised that I have, I always have two versions of this going, one on my Mac and one on my phone. And I have messed up in that uh, the host one isn't the one I'm recording on. So can you both hear, can you all hear me okay? Just give me a thumbs up 
if it's working, yeah? Okay, great stuff. Okay, this is my double entry having two things going, but okay, if it's working, we'll keep going. Thanks a million, guys. So from here, you're gonna take your right arm and lengthen it as far back as you can. Now you're not warmed up, but really open the chest, stretch and reach as far behind you as you can. And on your exhale, you're gonna rotate and take that hand around, join the hand up on the floor. Inhale, stretch and reach, opening. Let the eyes follow your thumb, reaching behind you. And as you exhale, lovely big twist, rotate, bring your hand out, join the hand on the floor. Two more like that. In breath, stretch, reach, look all the way behind you. And exhale, slowly and gently release. And once more, reaching as far behind you as you can. We're gonna hold it here, and you're gonna see if you can go a little deeper, looking behind you, and then we're gonna take the arm all the way back, join the hands on the floor, and imagine you're trying to let the head come down to both hands. So just side bending, let the head be really heavy, coming down towards your hands, breathing deep and full here. Get that side body stretch as you let the head come heavy in contact with the hands, and then slowly come all the way up. Release both hands by your hips here, and we're gonna shoulder roll. So we're just trying to break down any tightness from our bodies and ease into that slow, simple Saturday. Opposite direction, nice big circles. And come into center. So we're gonna repeat that on the opposite side. And again, it's getting as much thoracic rotation as you can. If you have dodgy shoulders, go with the bent elbow. So sitting tall again, lift the chest, drop the shoulders, nice long neck. On your inhale, the left arm reaches behind you. Allow the eyes to follow the fingers. And as you exhale, take it all the way around and join it to touch the hand that's on the mat. Inhale, reaching and stretching, opening, twisting, lengthening. And as you exhale, take it all the way around, joining your hands on the mat. Inhale, reach, stretch, lovely open heart, lengthen into the fingers. And exhale, slowly and gently releasing. Two more like this, big in breath, open, so full expanse across the heart, chest and lungs. And slowly and gently releasing. And once more, inhale, stretch and reach. We're, we're gonna hold it here. So see if you can rotate a little bit more. Allow the eyes to follow the fingers reaching a little bit further back behind you. And this time, as you exhale, lovely big rotation. Let's join the hands together. And then you're gonna drop your head towards the mat, towards your hands, and three deep breaths here. So really try and square your shoulders towards the floor and let that head be very, very heavy. Three breaths, inhaling, exhale fully. Two more, inhaling deeply, exhale fully. And once more, long in breath, deep, full exhale. And then we round the body all the way up. Square the shoulders, hands on the knees, shoulder rolls here again. So inviting as much movement as you can into the shoulders and then opposite direction. Brilliant. So from here, sorry, you're gonna take your hands behind you, interlace the fingers and think about the area between the shoulder blades here. You want to really squeeze those shoulders and on your inhale, lift the hands away from the bum. And as you exhale, hands come towards your bum. Inhale, squeeze and lift the arms up. And exhale, gently releasing. Nice long in breath, lift the hands away from the bum. And as you exhale, release. Four more, inhale, lifting the hands away from the bum. And exhale, releasing. Last. Squeeze the shoulders, lift the hands, and release. Last two, really lift. Each time you might come a little higher now, and gently release. And your last one, lift the hands. Really focus on that squeeze the back of the shoulders. Big in breath here. And as you exhale, you flex all the way forward. So any of my big bump ladies, you, you have limited mo movement here. Everybody else coming as far forward as you can. Squeeze out the shoulders and lift the hands away from the bum. And then slowly, gently roll the body all the way up. Hands stay reaching towards your bum. 
and then relief, release. And when you release, you should feel that lovely relief all the way. Okay, we all feeling okay so far? Yeah, real, great stuff. Okay, so when you're ready, come, on, uh, come forward to sitting with your bum on your heels. If you have a strap with you, this might be where you need it. Now, a strap, a sock, a scarf, a belt, anything. And again, there's no need for it. If you don't have it, you don't need it. So we're gonna really focus on lifting the chest. If you're uncomfortable sitting with the um, heels under the bum, just straighten the legs out, or stay sitting cross-legged. Lifting the heart really tall. You're gonna take whatever your contraption is into your right hand, lift that right arm all the way up, and then drop your right hand down between your shoulders. Actually, let me tie up my hair to make this a bit easier. Okay, again, if you don't have something to reach with, that's no problem. So your arm is reaching up, you drop it down between the shoulders, and then you take your left arm, give it a lovely big circle here, and then reach the left fingers to hold on to your belt, your strap, whatever you've got. Little by little, you want to work the fingers together, so eventually you won't need the strap, and you get the fingers to touch here. But once you've got those fingers touching, or using your belt, what tends to happen is we collapse. So I want you to really lift the heart, elbow up towards the ceiling, really lift the chest, try to be the tallest person here, with the longest spine, the long neck, crown of the head towards the ceiling, and we're gonna hold in this position for three breaths. Really focus on breathing into the ribs here, inhaling. Exhale fully. Inhale. And exhale fully. And once more, inhaling. And exhale fully. And slowly release your underneath hand. Gently release your top hand. Roll the shoulders. And really let go of any tightness or tension you might be feeling. So that should feel quite good. Difficult when you're in it, but good when, when you come out of it. Maybe jiggle the shoulders, give things a little bit of a, a little bit of freedom back into the body. So we'll repeat that to the opposite side. Now I know some of you won't need the belts whatsoever. It's just if your fingers are far apart, the belt is very handy. And again, no belt, no problem. Only doing what works for you. So sitting nice and tall, you're going to take the belt with the left hand this time. And on your in-breath, sitting tall, lift the left arm up with the belt. Drop it down between the shoulders. So whatever you're using, it's kind of dangling down between your shoulders. Swoop the arm all the way around. And then you're going to reach. So if my shoulders are tight, I might be in a position like this. And then little by little, you start to creep the fingers together, walking the hands closer together until eventually they touch. And this is my tight side. So I, it's a big gap on this side, but this side's quite easy. Normally you have one side that works and one side needs a little bit of extra TLC. So keep working the hands, creeping them tighter together, and then watch for this. They all tend to slump. So as I'm watching you there now, I want you to see everybody sitting about three inches taller, drop the shoulders and lengthen. Nice Lena. So really lifting high, working those fingertips to touch, chin away from the chest, slow deep in breaths, deep full exhales, working those fingers a little bit closer as you breathe. Deep, full in-breaths, long, slow exhales, creeping the fingers together and really allowing the side body here to breathe deep into that side body. So three deep breaths, inhale, exhale fully, inhaling and exhale fully. Once more, big in-breath, big, slow exhale and slowly release. Rolling out the shoulders, taking left hand to base the spine, right hand to the left knee, twisting, looking behind you, and gently we come to centre, opposite side, nice twist, and back beside, back centre, right arm reaching up, side bend here. So a deep side bend as though you're trying to touch the hand that's on the floor. No double chins. I want to see lovely long necks with everybody. And come to centre. Opposite side, reaching up, stretching over. And slowly come to centre. So when you're ready, we're going to come forward onto our hands and knees. So giving yourself a little bit of space. 
coming forward onto your hands. Maybe I'll bring you guys with me so I can keep an eye on everybody. On your hands and knees, we're going to start just gently rocking the hips right and left. And then we're going to change into big circles. So circling around, getting as much movement into your spine as you can. And then we go opposite direction. There'll be big circles here. And then coming into your hands, press the hands into the floor arch incline so really getting as much movement through that spine as you can arch incline press the floor away from you and then slowly and gently release eyes look up towards the ceiling pressing firm into the hands reaching high and then draw the tummy muscles in pressing arching up reaching and slowly and gently release And once more, draw tummy muscles in, get that lovely stretch and reach. And gently release. Back to your nice flat spine. Right arm stretching high up into the fingers. So if this is hurting your shoulders, go with the bent elbow. Otherwise, you want a really long line of energy through the fingers, looking up really high. And then we're going to circle two, three, four, five, and then we reverse it, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to hold up any of my regulars, you probably know what's coming now, we're going to thread the arm, however, we're going to stay in this position. So thread the arm all the way under, and I want you to get your shoulder all the way to the floor, and you're staying in this position, so stay here, let the shoulder come towards the floor, and just staying here. So focus on that lovely twist, reach the fingers further through, stay in this position, and we're going to take the left hand and join both hands in prayer. I'll do the other side so you can see. So we're just twisting and staying in this position. So stay in this position, soften out the shoulders, try and rotate a little bit deeper, breathing deep full in breaths, and long, slow exhales. And then release the left hand, place it under your shoulders, slowly and gently reach that right arm all the way up towards the ceiling, looking high, and then we're going to stretch it into the centre of the room. So stretch and reach the arm over by the ear and all the way up towards the ceiling. And once more into the centre, so stretch it. Energy from the middle finger to armpit, stretching armpit to hip. And then slowly and gently release and let the bum come back to the heels. Creep the fingers forward, soften the shoulders and head comes down. Slow deep in breaths, deep full exhale, staying in this position, letting the hips be really heavy and maybe creep those fingers a little further forward, soften the shoulders and breathe. Deep full in breaths, long, Slow exhales. And then when you're ready, coming back onto your hands and knees again. Again, little, little shake of the bum and circle out that lower back. So always trying to keep the lower back as mobile yet strong as possible. And opposite direction. Pressing hands into the mat, draw the belly in, arching high. And exhaling softly. And again, drawing tummy muscles in, arching really high. And soften it. Take it back to that flat spine. So we're going to do the same thing to the left side. So right hand comes into the middle to stabilize us. And we lift the left arm high up into the fingers. Turn the ribs, reach into the fingertips, looking up. And then we circle to three four, five, reverse, two, three, four, five. Holding up really high. And then we're going to thread the arm through and stay here. 
So reach the fingers, drop the shoulder, and maybe extend the fingers a little further forward. Let the ear and the shoulder come towards the mat. Enjoy that openness, and then take the top arm, line the fingers up, and just stay here. Obviously, if it's uncomfortable, you come out, but if you can, breathe into it, and think about opening that thoracic spine. So from the shoulders down to your mid-back is where we're really trying to open. We tend to carry a lot of tightness in this area. So by twisting and releasing, hopefully it'll help you have that slower, simpler slash day. And then slowly release, take the top hand, place it onto the shoulders and inhale, reach and stretch high up into your fingers again and slowly and gently release. Brilliant. So from here, open your knees as wide as your mat, send your bums back to your heels and just creep the fingers forward and surrender down. Now if your head doesn't come to your mat, you can take your cushion and you can pop that under your head. So just softening wherever you are, breathing deep and full here. So you want to stretch out those lower backs, let the forehead come towards the floor and breathe. Deep full in breaths, long slow exhales. So nice open hips, arms extending forward and softness in your breath. And then slowly and gently come back onto your hands and knees and we're going to keep our bum up this time and you're going to stretch the fingers as far forward as you can so your bum stays directly over your knees this is called puppy pose walk the hands forward and then let the head come down again if the floor is far away pillow under the head will help you otherwise no pillow and just stretch forward and let the head come down so the aim here is the bum, <coughs> excuse me guys, the bum stays up over the knees. You're creeping the fingers forward and the head comes down. Puppy pose. Stretching and breathing here. Creep the fingers forward. Lengthen that upper body. Keep the bum above the knees and surrender. Deep full in breaths, long slow exhales. And then slowly walk your hands right back in. We're going to open our knees, send your bum back to your heels. I'm going to do a child's pose here, but on our fingertips, so like a little claws. So stretch the fingers forward on the tips of your fingers. So really up high, exaggerate it. And then we let the chest and upper body melt down, staying on the fingers. Again, if, if the floor is too far away, a cushion really helps you surrender here. But the key here is being on the fingers and let the upper body melt. And then slowly press into the fingers walk the body all the way back up so you're sitting tall bum comes onto the heels lift the chest left hand to the base of the spine right hand to the left knee twist gently we come to center opposite side twisting and back to center. Now we're gonna do a version of downward dog um, that you may or may not have done, and me, I definitely haven't done it for a while, but it's a nice Saturday morning type stretch. I'll show you first, and then you guys can follow me into it. So our hands are shoulder width apart, our normal way, fingers are spread wide, but we're gonna take our feet wider than the mat. So really wide feet, <clears throat> and then from here, you're gonna lift up with your knees bent, and this is your downward dog. So my feet are super wide, wider than my mat. The floor is being pushed away and my knees are bent. And that's gonna be our first downward dog today. So when you're ready, line up your hands, 
Have a look at your middle finger, that stays pointing forward. Your shoulders are soft, your breath is totally relaxed and you're pressing floor away. Then with those wide feet, wide knees, press into your hands, send your bum towards the air, but keep a deep, deep bend in your knees. So deep bend in your knees, my mums to be, your bump up almost would be going between your thighs, my non-pregnant folk, you feel your tummy coming towards your thighs and you're pressing the floor away. We're gonna hold here for five breaths. Inhale deeply, exhale fully. Inhaling deeply, exhale fully. Three more, inhaling, exhale. Two more big in breaths, exhale fully. And once more, inhaling, exhale, come forward, pop the knees back down. Let the feet and heels come together, send your bum back towards the heels and creep forward. But this time our elbows are coming to the floor and you're just gonna reach your fingers down towards that mid back and surrender. So knees are open to the side, fingers reaching down the back, forehead on the floor and breathe. And then slowly release the hands. Coming back into tabletop. So take the knees back to hip distance apart. Hands directly onto the shoulders. Draw the belly in. Nice long flat back. Keep the fingers pointing forward. Toes tuck under. And we lift into our normal downward dog. So our feet are back to hip distance apart. We're pressing the floor away. We gaze towards our knees. We bend one leg. Stretch the opposite heel straight towards the mat. And then we switch. And switch. And switch. And then straightening both feet towards the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. Straighten the legs as much as you can. Press the floor away. And breathe. Deep full in breaths. Long slow exhale. Pressing the floor. Softening the shoulders. And then we come onto the knees. Simple child's pose, just heels together, knees apart. Stretch bum back. And this time your fingers come back towards your heels. So fingers are back towards your heels, head comes down. And breathe. Check out the shoulders here. The shoulders, I'd love them just to drop away. So drop the shoulders away, melt. Surrendering into the earth, feeling supported, nothing to do here but breathe. And then hands come under the shoulders, press yourselves right back up. So we have a few things now coming, <coughs> excuse me guys, where we'll be standing on one knee. You can see I'm kneeling on a sheepskin here. If you have your blanket, it might be an idea to take a blanket and you can pop it under one knee or double up your mat or your knees might feel fine just giving you a, a warning <clears throat> of options so when you're ready we're going to come to stand on your knees if you need to put some padding under your knee take your time and make sure you're comfortable so everything about today should be slow and soft and comfortable and stretchy and what we're going to do from here is slowly and gently you're going to take your right foot forward so your knee is at a right angle to your hip nice strong line here and we're just going to gently lunge a little forward and we're going to press back and again just lunging forward warming up the hips and gently back and once more lunging forward and gently back and then take your time slowly that foot comes all the way back Standing on both knees again, we're just going to rock the hips around. And we're going to do the same thing to the opposite side. So take your time, take opposite knee forward. 
Get that knee in line with the hip, get that nice right angle. Elbows back behind you, lunge down. And gently easing out of it. And again, a little lunge down. And gently easing. And your last one lunging down, holding here. And gently release. And then we slowly take that foot all the way back. Okay, so we're going to build on that. An area we carry a lot of tightness and tension is our hips. So the next few moves are all going to help us with twists and some rotations. So come back onto your hands and knees, lift into downward dog. Inhale, tippy toes. And exhale, drop the heels. Inhale, tippy toes. And drop the heels. Now bend the knees, look between the hands. Take your right hand to the middle of the mat. Nice deep bend to the knees. And in as many moves as you need, slowly you're going to take your right foot up to the right baby finger side. So right big toe beside right baby finger. And then you're going to drop your left knee down. Okay, so once you've got that, so we're going to stretch, reach and open our arm towards the ceiling. So the right fingers are reaching up. We're holding here. Option A, stay like this. Option B, with the toes tucked, lift that back knee up. Holding and breathing. Breathing and holding. Turn the ribs. If that's too much, the knee stays on the floor. Otherwise, we hold. Lots of energy in that back leg. And then knee comes down. Undo the arms. Slowly take that foot back. Let's lift up into downward dog again. Left hand comes to the middle. Bend the knee. In as many steps as you need, slowly the left foot comes up beside the left baby finger. Drop the right knee down. Holding here. <clears throat> left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Option A, stay like this. Or we took the back toes and lift that knee up. Breathing, lengthening, holding. And then knee comes down, hand comes down, and we press slowly, slowly, slowly back into downward dog. Okay, so from downward dog, we're going into it like a kneeling pigeon. So really slowly, bend the knees. Take your right knee towards your right wrist and open the shin. But then we stand upright. So both knees are on the floor. <clears throat> You're standing nice and tall. Your right knee is forward. Left hand, just squeeze the left side of the waist here. And really think about lifting tall here. Right arm is hovering down by your side. And when you're ready, inhale, reach the right arm up towards the ceiling and maybe into a side bend. So your balance will tell you how far you can go in this. Breathing, reaching, lengthening. Lengthen, reach and breathe. And come to centre. Release that arm down. Hands come to the floor. Tuck your back toes under. Strong hands, my mum's feet nice and gently out of it. Everybody else, we just lift up into a downward dog. Bend one leg, then the other. Just wiggle out the hips. And then we're going to do our kneeling pigeon to the other side. So bend the knees, look between the hands. Left knee comes towards the left wrist. Take your time, open that shin. And then you're going to stand up tall. So chest lifting. Hands on the waist, holding here. Lift the boobs, you're gonna feel a big stretch right through the body. Keeping the right hand on the right waist, left hand by your side. Inhale, reach that left arm up. That might be your max, if you can, side bend here. Deep, full in breaths. Long, slow exhales. Stretch and breathe and lengthen, looks really good, guys. And slowly come to center. Allow the arm to come down. Both hands to the floor. Tuck your back toes under and slowly take it back to downward dog. And we're going to bend our knees. 
and we're going to slowly come to lying on our back and if you have a strap you're going to need your strap for the next few bits so take your time <clears throat> coming to lie on your backs now anybody uncomfortable on your back there's no pressure to stay on your back at any stage roll onto your left side and rejoin us as you need we'll be about five minutes on the back so that could be a long time if, if you feel dizzy sick nauseous Take your strap, again, no strap, no problem, just an option to make it easier. We're going to start lying on our back, the knees bent, feet flat on the floor. <clears throat> Walk your heels in under your knees. Press your feet into the mat, little rock of the pelvis, and we pick those hips up. So squeeze your butt, lift your hips up, and then slowly and gently curling and releasing down. You don't have to come too high, it's just the control and the lift and the lower. Again, a little rock in the pelvis, press into the feet. Let's lift those hips up. So hip bones up towards the ceiling, weight in the head and shoulders, lifting high. And slowly and gently curling right back down. And once more, pressing the feet into the mat. Lift the hips up. We're going to hold it up here. Weight in the shoulders, in the back of the head. No tension in the neck. Holding here. Engage the glutes. Holding up. Breathing. And slowly and gently releasing. Okay, so any of my expectant mums, throughout, make sure you keep one knee bent. <clears throat> Everybody else, I want you to stretch out the left leg. <clears throat> and we're all, excuse me. <clears throat> and we're all going to draw the right knee in. You're going to hold the right knee. So my pregnant mums, you're going to have the left knee bent. Everybody else, leg is out straight. You're just going to go for circles here with the knee. So circling. Using both hands to get nice little circles here with your knee. Massaging your hip joint. And then we go opposite direction. Nice big circles. So keeping the breath soft the whole time here, guys. Come back to centre. Interlace the ten fingers. Take it below the knee. Take the knee out to the side and knee comes in towards your armpit. So nice big juicy stretch here. Getting that pinching feeling in the hip. And then you're going to take your band if you have one. If you don't have one, you can just hold the foot. That's totally fine. If you have something to loop around your foot, loop it around the foot and lengthen the leg up. <clears throat> so again, no band option. It's just hold on to your big toe. If you have the band, you use the band. My mum's to be, keeping the left leg bent, everyone else, left leg is out nice and long. And you're working your hands as high up the band as you can, but the knee should be invisible. Heel towards the ceiling, toes towards the face. Lengthen that leg up, soften the shoulders, and breathe really deep and full here. So heel to the ceiling, toes towards the face, lengthen that leg. Deep, full in breaths, and long, slow exhales. And each exhale, you wanna feel that leg lengthen. A bit more. So your right leg is up in the air. You're going to take the band in your left hand. Again, my mum's to be gentle with these movements, everybody else. You're going to take the left hand and draw that right leg over towards the left, keeping shoulders on the mat. Again, the no band option is just holding onto your foot. And just feel that stretch right through the outside of the leg. Don't roll over to the side, keep your shoulders in contact with the floor. And gently take it right back to centre. And then small bend in the knee, release the band. Expectant mums lengthen out that left leg. So we're all having the right leg bent, the left, left leg egg long. And you're just going to let the right knee roll, and you're rolling with it all the way over towards the left. So roll towards the left, use your left hand. To press the right knee into the mat. Option one, stay like this. Option two, twist your gaze and your arm over the right fingers. So the knee is going one direction, the left hand is pressing that into the earth, and your gaze is twisting in the opposite direction. Deep, full in breaths, long, slow exhales. Really focus on your breath right into the lower back. And then slowly roll right back to centre. 
Just hug that knee in for one more moment. And then when you're ready, lengthen that leg out. Mums to be, if you bend your knees for me, everybody else, palms face up, feet fall out. And just feel, hopefully, that that right leg is about two inches longer than the left. So surrendering, softening, and breathing. And then when you're ready, we'll repeat that to the second side. Let's start with the knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Fingers reach down to touch your heels. Head, neck and shoulders are relaxed. Now press your feet into the mat. Give them a little rock of the pelvis and we lift the hips up. Hips up, hips up, hips up. And then slowly and gently, we curl and release, coming all the way down. Again, pressing feet into the mat, a little rock of the pelvis. Lift the hips up, take the weight into the head, into the shoulders, length and high. And slowly and gently we curl down. Last one like this, little rock of the pelvis. Lift the hips up, engage the glutes. Weight goes into the head, into the shoulders, holding up really high here. And slowly coming down. Okay, so my expectant mums, keep that right leg bent. Everybody else, you're going to lengthen that right leg. Draw your left knee in, hold 10 fingers around the knee, and we're going to circle. So just bringing lots of lovely blood flow and energy around that hip. An opposite direction, nice big circles. And then when you're ready with 10 fingers around the knee, take it out to the side and work knee in towards the armpit. So a little pinching feeling in the hip here. And then when you're ready, taking your band, then that left leg in, lengthen the leg up. So heels to the ceiling, toes towards the face, opposite leg is really long. No band, no problem, just hook onto your big toe and stretch it as much as you can. And remembering that by using the band, it lets us go a little bit deeper. So we're keeping both legs completely straight and the aim here is you don't see your knee whatsoever. Your knee becomes invisible. Keep the toes pointing towards the face because that's going to really lengthen and protect all around the ankle, stretch the Achilles, which is great for, for preventing injury. So breathe deep and full into it. Upper body is relaxed, nothing to do here, you're just holding the, the leg. So keep tightness and tension out of the body. And then when you're ready, you're going to take the band into your right hand. Left hand is down by your hip and just take the leg across. Don't go tumbling over, keep both shoulders in contact with the mat. Again, if you see my knee, there's still no bend in it. I'm just going as far as I can. And hopefully, this should feel completely different all the way from the outside of the ankle right the way to the hip. Breathing deep, full in breaths, breathing long, slow exhales. Heel away from you, toes back towards you. Shoulders stay soft and breathing. Slowly and gently, we take that leg back to centre. Bend the knee, release the band. <clears throat> Working on our left leg this time, and roll with the leg, fully roll with it, come all the way over towards the right. Right hand pressing the left knee into the mat. And then if you choose, let the left shoulder fall back behind you, lengthen out that left arm and twist your gaze to look towards those left fingers. So as you lie here in this reclined twist, feeling lower, middle and upper back lengthening, Slow, deep in-breaths and deep, full exhales. Letting go of tightness, tension or stress as you breathe. And then slowly rock yourself right back to centre. Lengthen out both legs. My mum's to be, you have both knees bent. Everybody else, lengthen out the legs. Deep breaths here, inhaling, exhale fully, again breathing in, and exhale, 
I do want some more inhaling. Long, slow exhale. Take your knees into your chest. My mum's to be, nice open knees. Everybody has knees in nice and close. And we're just gonna rock side to side. So my mum's to be, make lots of space for your bum. Everybody else, knees in close. Just massaging out the spine. And then from here, we're going into our relaxation. So uh, get some, get your blankies, your socks, your, pil <clears throat> your pillows, whatever you need. Uh, the format's slightly different. So you're gonna have a guided relaxation where we work through all the muscles in the body. And then when we finish that, I'm gonna take you, for the last while I've been just signing off from there, a little bit different today. I'm gonna get you back up to sitting and we'll finish with a five minute meditation. So we're probably going to go five minutes over. What's new, but um, that's the plan. So get wrapped up. I'll talk you into your relaxation and then I'll bring you right back up and we'll finish, finish with five minutes of uh, meditation. Or ignore me and stay in your relaxation. I don't take any offence. So you do what works for you. Just to warn you, I have little uh, bells as well. They sound like this. So I'll be using those at the start and end of your relaxation and the meditation. So don't get a fright if you hear some clinking out of the blue. So wrapping yourself up, getting into whatever position is comfy for you, sitting, lying, lying on your back, lying on your side, anything, you're the boss of what makes you feel happy and relaxed. If you've got little kitties there with you, have a little cuddle, whatever feels nice for your slow, stretchy, relaxed Saturday. So slow, deep in-breaths and deep, full exhales. Completely surrender, relax and release. With each in-breath, feeling your chest and tummy rise and each exhale, letting your chest and tummy soften. Feeling your belly rise and letting your belly soften. In a moment, I'm going to work my way through your beautiful bodies, bringing attention to all the different places on your body, and we're going to contract and relax. If that doesn't work for you, just keep doing whatever feels good for you. Before we go through that, I'm going to bang my little, my little chimes three times, and what I'd love you to do is, in, just in your own silence and stillness, follow the sound of the chime until it disappears. So you have nothing to do, it's just a mental exercise to help your relaxation, that if you follow the chimes um, into the stillness, it might help you relax your body a little bit deeper. Everything is optional. So sitting tall, or sorry, relaxing deeply, I'm sitting tall, you're relaxing. Nothing to do here, but breathe. First chime coming up. When you're ready, bring your attention to your right leg, bring your attention to your toes, your foot, your ankle, moving through your calf, your shin, your knee, your thigh, right up into your hip. On that right leg, I want you to squeeze your toes, contract your foot, cramp up the calf, tighten the knee, squeezing your thigh, all the way up to that butt cheek. Tighten and squeeze, squeeze and freeze. If it's comfortable, maybe lift it slightly. Hold, squeeze, freeze, freeze, squeeze, hold. And then soften, relax and release. Repeating in your mind, I relax my right leg. I relax my right leg. My right leg is soft, relaxed and released. Taking your awareness 
to your left leg, from your hip, <coughs> right down to your heel. If it feels comfortable for you, you're going to tighten up those left toes, squeezing your foot, tightening your ankle, moving from your ankle to your knee, contracting shin and calf, tighten those thigh muscles, feel the power and strength right up into the hip, tighten your left butt cheek and squeeze from that left hip right the way to the heel, squeeze and freeze and freeze and squeeze, lock it, maybe lift it one inch off the floor, hold it here and then fully relax and release. Beating in your mind, I relax my left leg, I relax my left leg, my left leg is soft, relaxed and released. Bringing your awareness to your bum, your hips, your pelvis. Tightening your bum, squeeze your hips. Imagine you can contract your pelvis. So tighten bum, hips, pelvis, squeeze, freeze, freeze, squeeze. And then soften, relax and release. I relax my bum, my hips, my pelvis. I relax my bum, my hips, and my pelvis. My bum, my hips, and pelvis are soft, relaxed, and released. Taking your awareness a little higher, feeling your lower back, your middle back, your upper back. And at the front side, awareness to your tummy, your chest. If it feels okay for you, and mindfully any of my expectant moments, I want you to squeeze the tummy muscles, tighten the chest, tightening tummy, tightening chest, full awareness of the strength of your spine, your tummy, your chest. Tighten and squeeze, squeeze and freeze, and then soften, relax and release. Beating in your mind, I relax my tummy, my chest and my spine. I relax my tummy, my chest and my spine. My tummy, my chest and spine are soft, relaxed and released. Bring your awareness to your right arm. Tracing your right arm from your shoulder, upper arm, elbow, forearm, to your wrist and all the way to your fingers. Make a fist with that right arm and squeeze every muscle from the fingers all the way to the shoulders, maybe lifting it one inch off the floor. Squeeze and freeze, freeze and squeeze, lock it, lift it, and then soften, relax and release. Repeating in your mind, I relax my right arm, I relax my right arm, my right arm is soft, relaxed and released. Awareness moving across the body, into the left arm, bring your attention from your left shoulder into your upper arm, elbow, forearm, into your wrist right down to the tips of the fingers. Making a fist, contracting and squeezing from the shoulder right the way to the fist. Maybe lifting that arm one inch off the floor, squeeze and freeze, freeze and squeeze, tight and cold, hold, squeeze, freeze, squeeze, freeze, squeeze. And then soften, relax and release. Repeating in your mind, I relax my left arm. I relax my left arm. My left arm is soft, relaxed and released. Taking your awareness to your shoulders, your neck, your jaw, your mouth, your face. And in a moment, I want you to scrunch up your face, tighten your mouth and jaw, lift shoulders up towards the ears and maybe lift your head slightly off the mat. So let's tighten shoulders, neck, 
jaw, mouth, face. Squeeze your face, squeeze your mouth, squeeze your jaw, tighten your neck, lift your shoulders. Squeezing shoulders, neck, jaw, mouth, face, squeeze, breathe, breathe, squeeze. And then soften, relax and release. As you see in your mind, I relax my shoulders, my neck, my jaw, my mouth, my face. I relax my shoulders, my neck, my jaw, my mouth and my face. My shoulders, jaw, neck, mouth and face are completely soft, relaxed and released. And letting this relaxation flow from the crown of your head, tips of your toes, surrendering from the shoulders all the way to the tips of the fingers. Really sending that rest, stillness and relaxation to where your body needs it now most. Slow down the breath and surrender to your Saturday. Slow, simple breathing, softly surrendering. Feeling your belly rise and letting your belly soften. Inhaling peace. to use my chimes again. Three little rings of chimes and using that to come back into your body, moving fingers or moving toes or maybe rocking side to side, whatever works for you, to come back into your body as we prepare for our meditation. So awareness coming back to the body, being aware of our chimes, as you move your fingers or move your toes. I'm going to finish with about three or four minutes of stillness and meditation. If you're happy on the floor and you want to stay there, by all means, stay there. You can meditate lying there. There's no hassle. If you want to come back to a seated position, come back to a seated position with a straight spine. Everything optional. Do not feel any pressure to move if you're happy where you are. are choosing to come back to a seated position. Any of my expectant mums, you might want to cradle your bump. Anybody else? If you're looking for a meditative practice to energize you, I would take thumb and index finger together and place the fingers pointing up towards the ceiling, towards the sky, on your knees. If you really want to embrace the slow, soulful Saturday, and you're having a hard time slowing down and relaxing into what's going on around us at the moment, I would recommend taking index, sorry, thumb and ring finger together and extend your arms and the fingers towards the floor. Okay? None of this matters, though you do what works for your body. So my mums to be, maybe cuddle your baby. Those of you who are looking for energy for what's coming today, thumb and index, thumb, thumb and index finger with the hands facing up. And those of you who need to slow down and surrender, and go softly, I would take a ring finger and thumb towards the floor. So sitting tall, relax the shoulders, and we're gonna come back to our breathing practice of in for four, hold for two, out for four. I'm gonna talk you through the first few, and then I'm gonna leave you in silence and stillness for about three minutes, and I'm gonna use the gongs to take you back out, and I'll leave you there. So sitting tall, Relaxing the shoulders, closing the eyes, locking out the outside world for the final few moments of your yoga and meditation this morning. And when you're ready, we're going to inhale two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, 
inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, continue on your own, silence, go with your counting practice, finishing whichever breath you were on. Is okay for you. We're going to take our hands in prayer in front of our heart. And we're really going to celebrate that we made this time for our slow, soulful Saturday. Thanking yourself for setting yourself up and really easing and surrendering into your weekend, taking that soothing stillness to where your body needs it most. Really filling your body with gratitude and love. Particularly well done to any of my little people, Eleanor, all those little guys. I see a few little heads around. So really well done to everybody who stuck with this, particularly the children who did it. Let's nod our chin to our chest and rub the hands together as fast as you can. Cradle the hands around the eyes. Let the whole weight of your head be fully supported by the hands. Allow the eyes to open here, taking your hands back in prayer in front of your heart, really celebrating your body and your practice. Namaste guys, really well done. Thank you for doing that with me and I hope to see you soon. Thank you, I see loads of thumbs up. Thank you very much and uh, thanks Alina. I will send you out the link to this. Uh, lots of love, have a really nice Saturday. My mission is to slow down and surrender so I hope you do too. Bye Eleanor, bye Maura. See you guys, thank you so much. Oh, I have to end it on this one. I've confused myself how to end it because I'm logged on to two. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye guys. <laughs>